Hey everyone, and welcome to my latest review of Mint Mobile. So I've been doing reviews on cell phone companies for a while now, and I found that a lot of people out there need some help when choosing one because there are so many out there. And there are a lot of different offers and information that each service talks about. I've spent about a year trying out lots of different plans and services to try and find the best ones out there. And I hope that my journey wading through all the boring red tape and countless marketing campaigns will help you find the one that you're looking for. So in this video, I'll be specifically talking about Mint Mobile and we'll be looking at the various features that they have on offer, what they charge for their plans, as well as some of the pros and cons that I found while using them. While they do have a pretty good flat rate for their services, they don't allow cheaper customizable plans or free international calls like services like Telodo. But yeah, they're really straightforward and give you pretty decent prices for signing up for longer term plans, which makes them appealing, especially if you only plan on making local calls within the United States. And while I'm not one who's usually swayed by celebrity promotions, you might be interested to know that Ryan Reynolds has actually bought up a large stake in Mint, which is interesting to know if you're a fan, but I'm really just here to talk about what they offer. So even though I love Van Wilder, Deadpool, and a bunch of his other movies, I won't let it affect my honesty when reviewing Mint, and I intend on being as clear as I can about both their pros as well as their cons. And if at any point you'd like to check out Mint Mobile with a little bit of a discount, I was able to find a special link that I left down in the description with the discount that you wouldn't be able to find if you went straight to their website. Okay, so let's get right into it. Mint is a relatively new company. They started in 2015. And some quick things that I wanna go over are that they basically offer four different plans and three different contract terms, either every three, six, or 12 months. They do also offer month to month plans, but for my research, this one might be a little pricey. So I'd probably recommend going for a non month to month plan if you need them for more than a month or so. But once you sign up, they'll send you a SIM card and then all you have to do is download the app or log in on the website and click activate your SIM card, which is on their main page. Really, really obvious placement. Then you put in the code, which is on the back of your SIM card that they sent to you. Follow a few prompts and you'll be up and running in a few minutes. So now I'll talk a little bit about their plans and what they cost. So like I said, they really keep their plan simple and they have four to choose from. Each plan gives you unlimited calls and texts for the duration of your plan, which means you don't have to worry about topping up each month, which I really like. Okay, the 12 month plan, which is what I chose, is of course a much better value for your money. So again, if you plan to stick around and you don't want to waste your money, I'd say go with a longer term plan to save you some money. Okay, so the next plan is the 15 gig plan. And as you probably already figured out, it gives you about 15 gigabytes of data a month. It costs around 20 bucks a month on the 12 month plan. Then there's the 20 gig plan, which will set you back around 25 bucks a month on the 12 month plan. Then finally, there's the unlimited plan, which of course gives you unlimited data and costs around 30 bucks a month. They really try to push you into signing up for the unlimited plan by making it as close to the 20 gig plan as possible. So I'd highly recommend the unlimited if you're a heavy streamer or you watch Netflix or something that needs a lot of data. And again, if you do wanna check out any of these plans with a bit of a discount, be sure to check out the special link that I left down in the description, because like I said, it'll get you a discount that you won't find if you go directly to their website. Now, before I move on, I should note that the unlimited plan isn't really Really unlimited because they'll slow you down after 40 gigs of data, which is quite a lot of data and you should be fine even if you're a heavier streamer or whatever. But I just wanted to point that out in the name of complete transparency. Okay, so now let's touch on some other negatives about the service as well. So I tend to make a lot of international phone calls to some of my clients and I especially like to know that I can reach them or vice versa while I'm outside the office. But Mint doesn't really offer much in terms of international phone calls and you have to buy special credits beforehand in order to do this, which can get a bit pricey, especially if you make a lot of international or longer calls. So I think there are some better options if you want to call overseas a lot. If that's the case and you can't use WhatsApp or some other thing like that, I'd consider Tello because their international calls are included, which is a really nice feature. A little caveat though, if you only need to call Mexico or Canada, Mint does actually include them. So if that's what you're mainly calling outside of the United States, that could work for you. Now, 
I was actually trying to watch one of my favorite shows when I noticed this, so I thought I'd save you the trouble of freaking out about the drop in quality and taking your phone in for a service like I almost did, but even though they do give you unlimited data on the unlimited plan, it's important to keep in mind that they cap their streaming quality to something like 480 pixels, which could really downgrade your visuals when streaming shows and movies. So if you're adamant about super high quality streaming, you might wanna check something else out. But if you don't mind that and would rather just prefer having anytime access and a lot of data, then they're a pretty solid option. Okay, so next I'll touch on a few of the things that I liked about them. Ultimately, I'd say that Mint is a great service for people who just want an uncomplicated service and prefer having unlimited data per month. And this is where the company really excels in terms of what they offer. The coverage is pretty great, and I never really experienced any connectivity issues. The international calls did cost a little bit too much in my opinion, but the quality of the calls was good and I never had any noise issues or breaks in the line. Basically, if you just want a plan that gives you unlimited calls and text and aren't too worried about streaming quality or you don't need to make international calls, they're a really good service. And I also wanna point out that they do offer a seven day free trial, which means you can try them out and see if you like them or not before paying anything. Oh, I almost forgot to add that they also allow new customers to pay a flat rate of 15 bucks for any plan for the first month, which gives you an added chance to get a feel for them before agreeing to any long-term contracts, which I think is a nice little bonus. So in my honest opinion, would I recommend Mint Mobile? In most cases, I'd say yes. While they don't offer a great package in terms of international calling, they do keep it really simple when it comes to understanding what you're getting and how it works, which I like because I like to think simplicity is best. I mean, I already try to understand what my wife's saying sometimes, which is enough of a complicated puzzle that I don't need my phone plan to add any more complications to my life. And if you aren't super stressed about getting good quality streaming, then they do give you a slightly higher cap on your data than most other services, which basically means more internet without worrying about hitting that brick wall of connectivity anytime soon. So I feel like this is a great option for people who just wanna save on long-term plans, don't like having Having to change services often, need it for mostly home use or local calls, and want lots of reliable internet every month. So that about sums up this hopefully honest review of Mint Mobile, and I really hope it's given you a better insight into what they're all about. If you're into keeping things simple and don't want to hassle with top-ups and fixed-term contracts, I definitely recommend checking them out. As they're pretty flexible and pretty reliable. And again, one last time, if you're thinking about trying out Mint Mobile with a bit of a discount, use the link that I left down in the description, which like I said, will automatically apply the discount that you won't be able to find if you go directly to their website. Now, I generally try to cover as much as possible in these videos, but if there's anything you feel like I left out or something that you'd like answered, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos and reviews like this, and I'll see you in the next video.